Hello everyone and welcome to BCC Art Studio. I'm Billy and today I'm going to try something new. So I am going to attempt to make a rose and then I'm going to set the rose in here. So I will be using uh, Osbang Chameleon Mica Powder. So the colors I will be using today are red, orange, yellow, apple, green, golden, and this one is purple, blue, red, orange. And then I will be putting my background in black. So let's get started. So first off, I have my resin, which is Clearcast 7000 from the Epoxy Resin Store. And I have a piece of hair in it. The perks of having pets, I guess. So, this is a one to one ratio, and I made two ounces. It's probably too much, but I never measure. Anyway, so I'm going to put a little bit in here. For one color. So I want my, my purple, blue, red, orange, that's what I want. And you want to kind of make sure you get them all in the crevices. If you're new here and enjoying the content, why not consider hitting that subscribe button? By subscribing, you'll stay updated on all the latest videos and join our community of art enthusiasts. It's a great way to show your support and never miss out on any of the creative adventures we embark on together. So go ahead, hit subscribe, and let's dive into the world of art together. If you leave a comment in the comment section, your name will be featured in the end credits at the end of the next video. I'd love to hear your thoughts and give you a shout out. Make sure you're getting all the edges. Okay, so we have our flower. Okay, so I have my black mica powder, um, resin, black. And I'm just gonna cover this with black backing.
All right, time to put that on the heat press. Now what I want to do is take the rest of this. Let's make sure my mold is clean. Take the rest of that. And take the rest of this, make some black. Be sure to be wearing a respirator when you're using mic powders because it can damage your lungs. The stuff, stuff is starting to get warm, so I need to be quick here. So I just want enough to cover the background. Okay, that's got to go onto the heat press as well. I mean the heat table. And I will be back. So it is time to reveal the flower. So here we go. Wow, that's pretty. I'll bring you in for a close up. Okay, so my plan is to take this blue, purple-ish color flower and set it in here. Let's see. Let's try to line it up a little bit. My plan is to just resin over it. So I will go mix some resin. So I decided that I want to use some glitters. So I'm not, it doesn't have any names on them. They just came in a package with different colors. Um, so I'm gonna be using these colors. This one is kind of a greenish blue, like a phthalo green. This one is a magenta. This one's this one is kind of like a pinkish red and a purple. So I'm gonna move this out of the way for a minute. <coughs> Make sure this is mixed up. So I have three ounces here, and I probably will have to do another coat, but I do want to make sure of that I get enough over the flower. <clears throat> so what I want to do is where I'm going to place the flower, I'm going to put a little bit of resin there so I can make sure there's no bubbles underneath. And I'll place the flower. Kind of move it around, make sure there's no bubbles. Just making sure I have it centered where I want it. All right, now time to put in some glitter in the rest of the resin. Now I'm not putting a lot. I am just putting very hint, like very, very hint very tiny bit. Just 
just to give it different color sparkles. So as you can see, you really can't see it I guess, but it's not saturated, it's just subtle hint. And I'm going to go around making sure all the edges are covered. All right, and that has to go onto the heat table. All right, it's time for the unveiling. It's not bad. I wish it would have been more of a red flower. Didn't turn out too bad. I gotta put a cover over this because as you can see it's got it has a lip on it. So I'm gonna put some resin in there and just spread it out to the edge and let it sit. And we'll see what happens. See what it looks like after that. Okay, so here is the final, final results. So this has the, the edge put over it, so there is no dip to it anymore. As you can see. Now I just gotta find a frame to put it in. And I was thinking about, so I got this, this board from Walmart, and I know it would fit in here. If I put it in here like, like so. Maybe something like that in the future. But for now, this is what I got. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching and happy pouring.